what colors are your best recommendations to work with? Let's make that a two-parter, like back in the day, were you picking color choices based on knowing that you could work with them, or were you specifically going for things that no one else was using? What was your direction with the color and color knowledge at that uh, early stage? It was, it was whatever looked the prettiest to me, you know, and so... And you didn't care whether it was going to work or not? I, I didn't care if you it was... You needed that I, green... I, and, I, and, I, and I just wanted to see, and I wanted to see what... You know, it, and some of the some of the colors you definitely couldn't use, you know, and but a lot of them. What I what I discovered is that, you know, it was just because there was air in them was the problem, you know, like all the first crayons and everything. It's just like so much air that you just hit a flame on it and it bubbles up. And one time I was like, I was heating up um, a rod and. It, it did, and it didn't bubble up like right on the end. I was like, "Wow!" I was like, and then I'm like pulling some more string, and it's just all bubbly and nasty. And then like the next day, I like was going to pull some more stringers, and I started to pull the stringers, and it didn't bubble up. And I was like, "Oh!" And I was like, "Oh, it's because it's the first thing that I pulled off, and the the end of the rod was was clipped, you know, so it was like cut. And and as soon as you melt that." Then it the because there's air bubbles all the way down it. Then it's just bubbly every time you like try to heat it up right there. All these bubbles come up. But if you clip it and it's open, and you put the flame a little bit back there, you can push the air out and you get this one little piece of like. So it doesn't matter what color or how much air there is in it, you can get this little ball of jemmy fucking juiciness and then so you pull that into the stringer then you clip off the front of the thing and then you do the same thing again so you you know you waste like half the color by doing it you know and you have all but these little chunks but you get the juicy with no juice. air and then you can like draw these patterns with it or you can like um like the the take me to the mothership with the um with the pot plant and the aliens and stuff that piece the rainbow, like all the balls on it and everything, that was that was as big of a section that I could make clean, clean, you know, because <laughs> it was like you could only like melt the last, of, you know, like maybe three quarters of an inch of the rod on the end and make it good, you know, and so and then I'd ball that up and I'd stripe a little bit of clear on it, blow it into a ball, and then I like built that little tree thing with that, but it was like. Yeah, it's just trying to figure out the how to yeah. do it clean. You this know? is my favorite part of the interview because you're seeing him relive that moment, and each of us has had all those little moments where you're like, "Yes, I understand." In a way that I didn't understand before this moment, and now I can never go back. So that was really cool.